So guys, we've got a fish that's just surfing the edge of this rock wall right across from us in the canyon here. He's not rising uh, much. He is definitely nymphing, maybe taking some emergers. Um, but I'm just gonna get into position. Uh, we, he's kind of coming in and out of shade, a uh, little bit into the sunlight, but mostly really tight to that rock wall. So I'm gonna try to pick my best position to cast to him and just see if he's gonna come up. You know, our, our guide here, Evis, is telling us that he's you know fairly confident that he might just come and take a dry. So I'm gonna start out with a dry, even though we haven't seen him rise. Um, and, and just go with that. And if I have to, I'll put on a dropper nymph, but let's go see what happens here. I'm only probably three, I would say maybe three rod lengths, maybe four from here. Hey. So I've had a couple drifts through here. And we're just waiting for the timing of where this fish is gonna actually come out and eat. Dave's been really pleased with my drifts and communication of where we wanna put the fly and him trying to film the fish. But it just hasn't quite connected, but uh, it's all just a, this is a timing thing, man. Um, we know he's in here and we know that there's a chance that he'll potentially come and eat. Here we go. No, landed further out. Oh, he ate it. Oh, wicked. That was awesome. Holy smokes, did he ever go slow on that? Wow, wow, wow. What a take, guys. Just such a slow move coming out from that bank. That was cool. Here we are. Should be able to bring him up for you, Evis. Yeah. And there we go. Nice, man. Wonderful. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Wicked. Sweet. Got it? Yeah. All right. And let him go. That's cool. <laughs> so we've got a fish in a really neat spot. Um, he's in a massive back eddy of, uh, well, I guess it's not that massive, but big enough. Um, off of this river. And I'm just going to point out to you guys. So the river's flowing downstream of me here. You got your main seam and it's crashing into that cliff wall and Dave's just above. He's gotten into position where he can film this fish. And what I've done is because this fish is holding in this back eddy off here where the, the river flows coming towards us, I of course want to get downstream of the fish. So what I've done is I've crossed the river above here and I'm going to get tight into shore right over in here and just crouch down and get into position off of these rocks and just have a go. Um, Dave said it's, you know, he sees it as a pretty kind of a gimme rainbow um, that's cruising around in there. Really good chance. It's a great summer day. They're taking dry flies and I'm just going to go in and have some fun. Should be able to get a good cast into the spot and see what happens here. Uh oh, okay, we're not moving. So, I'm just gonna talk about that. So guys, Dave just communicated to me actually that what's happened is the fish has now come and you can see there's a, a seam line that comes off the left side of this rock. And that fish decided to swim up into that seam line. So I'm holding off for now because I'd be walking right down onto the fish, so. We're communicating as we go as to where the fish is so that I don't just end up stepping on it. Okay guys, Dave's telling me that he's in that back eddy, so now I'm going to slowly try to get into position here. So I am staying low here guys because of course the river drops and I don't need this fish to see me if I go, if I stand up. Um, right now I'm on my knees and if I stand up I could likely end up spooking this fish nope. yeah right oh I think I just saw the gray shape is his tail on the back end of the dark rocks okay 
Oh yeah, I see him, Dave. Oh, that's gorgeous. No, I got him. The neatest thing is that this fish is is truly not even, well, maybe two rod lengths from me, mm -hmm. rod and a half. And he's holding in there. Dave spotted him. And I'm gonna try for him first here, obviously. Because it looks like I was able to get into position without spooking this guy, so bonus. Come over here if you can, or I'll come to you. Hang tight, hang tight, and no, 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 and not quite, not quite, not quite, not quite, not quite. I'll surf him up to you and bring him in. Yeah, wicked. Oh, thanks, Evis. You're welcome. <laughs> nice fish, really nice male. That's friggin' awesome. Oh. Yeah, man. All right, Just teamwork. <laughs> Gorgeous fish, guys. Absolutely. Gorgeous fish. Okay, I'm gonna put it on just a stunner of a rainbow trout here, guys. Absolutely stunning. We've got a fish, guys, that Dave's actually spotted from high up on this bank um, yeah, that's really holding right off the drop here. And I just saw him and just, oh yeah, I just got him now. Just see him now. Okay, it's a good window. Good. I'm going. He's coming out, coming out. Yep, got him. Nice. Right on. <laughs> and into the net. Into the net. Thanks, Evis. <laughs> cool. We're killing today. We're killing. <laughs> We're not seeing anything rise. Whoops. Not seeing anything rise, but has to be a fish here. This is a has to be kind of a spot. We're gonna get a fish right away here. Nice. Just perfect water. 
Perfect rainbowy water. Just lay it in there. One more cast. He should come to the next one. Awesome. Okay, so when you get a fish downstream like that, try to crack his head. If you can get his head in the water, he'll just surf in like a little planer board. It's that simple. Especially when it's that size. That's 3X, but you know, so be it. Gorgeous fish. Uh, I thought for sure there'd be one in here. There he was. I saw him swirl around my dry fly twice. That's really cool. Look at, there we go. Here we go. All right, perfect little scene here, guys. Pitch right on the outside to start and bring it back right in here. Hopefully somebody shows up. Right along the drop off, a little bit out. There's a rock wall right where that inter interface of that dark, dark rock meets the gravel. Kind of right in there. Bring it all the way along. Somebody should show. Perfect water for a rainbow. Right up in here. I'm just doing a quick flyby, so am I intensely fishing this? No, but if there's somebody here up and looking, there we go, right off that drop off at the head. I've got one, maybe two. Oh, what was that? Did somebody look? I gotta see about that. Right up on that drop, right by that rock. No. And last cast, I'm just gonna put it up by that rock right on the edge, right up in there. Let that come over that drop off zone. And that's that. All right, let's go see about these fish. No, he's, he's home. Okay, so this guy, watch your rods there. That's a gorgeous fish, we'll deal with him in a bit. Where is my other fish here? There he is, I think. You ready? Yeah. Here we go. Right there, right there. Yeah, I got him. Nice, got it. Wicked. Good job, love. Alrighty. <laughs> Awesome, That's a gorgeous man. Eat hay yeah, and down right into the water. Yeah. You got him there? Where'd he go? There he is, right here. Right here, right at my rod tip. Let me know when you got him. Okay, let me know. Mel's? Yeah, yeah, go for it. It's right here. Right here. Are you fucking me? <laughs> I don't know what you got there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, no. No, I've got the audio. <laughs> <laughs> Who saw that coming? Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. You look way bigger in the water. She looked. Oh, there she goes. It's all good. 
right here on this channel. Okay. Um, well, I'll pitch a dry fly at them and see what happens. They're really all over, hey? Yeah. Not the easiest little buggers to target when they're moving like that. But what are you going to do? See if we can see him. There he is, out there. Be a little farther out, up, yeah. Coming all the way across into this seam. Where'd he go? Come on, Dave, on the water. There. Wicked. I like that. Crazy. It was just subsurface the whole time. Gorgeous fish. Yeah. Well, that's all I got on. I got rid of the, got rid of the nymph. Wicked. Gorgeous fish. Yeah. Eat my dry or nothing else. Okay. So just say when. So bring Yep. There we go. One, two, three. You got? Yeah. Okay. Here we go, love. Yeah. And whew, gone. There. He's underneath the seam there. How do you, oh, he's coming over shallow. He's right there. There's the, there's the black bar that kind of continues yeah. across. And there's a pocket, be like a square of sand. Yeah, on the sand. The yeah. If we call that if kind you, of corally color. Yeah. I'm but he's going to show up right here too. That's the freaking problem. Right? And. It's not as easy to see him in here for whatever no, for me. Because he's I, moving hard. I, but, the boundary says yeah. what? Well, for a moving fish, says over your shoulder again. Well, there's a lot of value in that. You know that fish that was yeah. on the outside rock? That's why I didn't tell you. You know the, the, the three at the top mm -hmm. the other day where that backwards mm -hmm. fish was and I caught the one further out? Mm -hmm. The video of that is phenomenal because you're oh, over my shoulder Maybe. and it, I set and it jumps and it, we all hell breaks loose and it's phenomenal footage yeah. oh, from really? a not a very big fish. Oh, that's so, worthwhile. Right? Yeah, that's... So, I mean, I, I could say, so if you're, do you think you'll stand where you are? No, I'm actually probably going to get closer. I just don't... I, I'm waiting to see him again because... Okay. I'll adjust to you and I'll try to do where it's, you know, fairly like it. Yeah. Um, well, we we'll try our best, right? I gotcha. This idea. We yeah, I'll be closer than be, that too, know? though. Yeah. Yeah. That's all. I'm trying to. He'll, he'll come around. It's right there, right here. Right, right to him. Really? Here we go again. Here we go again. No, he followed it down. One more. And again, he refused. So, where are you, fish? There you are. Yeah, 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 yeah. Eva keeps telling me. Same place, same place. There, right there. Right there. That's the one. A little polywing caddis. I went from a larger stonefly to a, a large size 14 elk hair caddis and refuse, refuse, refuse and put on a little size 16 polywing slender profile caddis fly and he came and smoked it first up. And Evis and I are gonna go down here because that's what we do. And just like that, I try to bring this guy in here. That's 7X. I'm teasing. There we go. Look at awesome, hey? Good job, mister. Thanks for. Did you use a 7X? No, I'm keeping. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. The day, I, the day I use 7X is the day I quit fly fishing, I think. So we're up on this really neat rock wall here, guys. And I'm going to make my way down where you can see down there. And we are seeing a number of uh, rainbow trout just literally moving around in here, not consistently rising, but I'm going to see if I can get one to come up and, and need to dry fly. If you don't mind passing me that rod when I get down, that's awesome, Evis. Yep. Okay. Lower myself through here. Awesome. 
Wicked, thank you. Perfect. All right. Okay, and you ready here? Yep. Okay. Nope, too far to the right. Go again. Going again. Is he gonna come up? Yes. yes! Nice! Oh, that was gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Hell yes. Okay, so this, we're probably gonna have to go around this. Haha, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Can I bring him back up? Can I bring him back up? Let's just take our time here because he might come in. That's the hope. Yep. Come on, out of those rocks. Stay out of those rocks. Okay, oh, yeah. And tight and. Yeah, nice brownie. It's a brownie. Really nice brownie. Wow, man. Freaking awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. Okay, in the water he goes. Wicked. Yeah, that's really nice brown. Yeah. Pretty brown, guys. Really nice. Awesome. Okay. spotted a fish guys right over across from us in the seam line in kind of a, a deeper run slower run and uh, right now I've just had my dry dropper on I'm taking the dropper off I don't want to give that fish the option so off comes the nymph and uh, out goes the dry fly when I get a cast right out in this stuff here So I'm just, get, just getting into position now, guys. Um, this fish has not been rising really on the... Well, there he did. He just rose. I saw that rise. Ha! So this fish has been rising occasionally. Um, but he is certainly surfing around a lot. And it'd be awesome if we see another rise like that and I've got some, some gauge as to where he is. Because I don't see him now. Yeah, up there. Up there, yeah. Uh, he's on the left side and a rod leg down. Yeah, I have an idea then. Oh, well, we'll just watch this way. You got lots of time. Yeah. There, he just moved over. Up. Okay, I saw that. Got him. You ready? Yes. Okay. Nice, beautiful. Yeah, man. Wicked awesome. Thank you. Excellent. Thanks, man. And slowly we go down with the tail, too. Tail as well, yeah. Tail. Yeah. Get a cartwheel out of the water. Oh, how neat is that? Yeah. That's cool on camera. Okay, guys. So we got another fish here that we that these guys from up top on the bank over here have seen. I I can't see because really I only just saw when that fish rose from my angle. I'm about knee deep in the water and can't see everything, especially with the chop on the surface with the wind. So, but up here, Dave's pointed out to me there's a cluster of orange rocks. Kind of on the back end of it is where he said this fish has been has been hanging out so that's what i'm going to be targeting next so see the big cluster of foam just above it yeah oh, okay above that that's the orange yeah i know that's the cluster so do you want me to land my fly above it up just and the go anywhere near with your fly line no and and the upstream side of it like, sorry, and the left side of it is what I meant to actually say? Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, here we go. How about that? Yeah, whoa! Okay, then. About that cartwheel. Yeah, I was telling you about that That was amazing, eh? That, yeah, 
Okay, guys, that was crazy. Um, that fish literally just leapt out of the water. Uh, <laughs> I don't think he really got any piece of that fly. I can tell you, I sure as hell didn't feel anything. But he cartwheeled at it. Yeah. He jumped and did a pirouette somersault and turned at you. That makes sense? So yep. he turned 180 degrees midair, and as you were setting the hook, he was facing you. Yeah, makes total sense. Crazy, man. Super fun, though. Okay, so they've spotted another couple fish from up high that are surfing across from me here above a couple boulders. Okay. He's literally on the pillow. Oh, where'd he go? And back, under the fold down, on the far side. The last solo one is on his head now. Oh, wow. Next solo one, the big one? Yeah. Now. Solo uh, one, now. Okay, so if I lead it just a couple feet above it, right? Yeah, you don't have to be far. No. Get okay, that next fold. Yeah, okay, this foam here, Dave? Now. Uh, that's short. Yeah. Okay, that so. Bubble? Yeah. Now. Okay, I'm I. Over. Okay, I am ready. Are you ready? Yeah, but rolling. Okay, here we go. You got me, Dave? Yes, beauty. Haha, <laughs> nice. Good eye, love. Real good eye. Real good eye. Hey, thank you. Perfect Woo! Sweet. Jumper. We've got a jumper. Whoa. <laughs> Come on. No, 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 no. You're going to go right over to those rocks, aren't you? Come on back. Into the net. Whoa. <laughs> Maybe not the jump into the net. Hang tight. <laughs> There we go. Oh, and a riser right across. Wow. Quite a few fish in this hole, this you know, 20 guy. yard. Hey, awesome. Thanks, love. A brownie. That's neat. Do you find value in our free sharing of knowledge and experience and want to support us? Gain access to our extended length ad-free videos as well as our in-depth producer's notes that turn every video into an in-depth fly fishing class. Join our Patreon group today.